Hey, what's up there? So I wanted to talk about this cool little kind of hidden feature called source clip color. So I'm in the 2018-12 version of Avid here. I know the track colors are a little different in the newer versions. Normally I like to have all my audio colors this really light blue. I like to have my V1 this orange. I just came up with this two decades ago and now my brain is so used to it. I also like to have a separation between V2 and V1. The way to change that is to select any track you want and then go to track color. I don't know, maybe it's a pet peeve of mine. If I go back here, these are the default colors. I don't know, I'm always very wary when I see an editor using the default colors. It probably has no <laughs> rhyme or reason why I should feel this way, but I'm like, ah, I don't know. You should customize your timeline. You're going to be spending hours and hours and days of your life, years of your life, looking at these blocks and the idea that you don't take the 30 seconds to make it a more of a color that's appealing to you. I don't know, I find it a little odd. So regardless of what your track color is, you can, you can use the clip color, will override that in the sequence. I'm gonna show you an example of why that might be helpful. Okay, so my work sequences, I make all my audio two track color green because this is for voiceover. I'm mostly working on promos and we have a lot of voiceover. So I wanna separate that by, I have track two and I make the track color green. Now what happens is a lot of times we use scratch VO or temp VO. So I have this clip right here. All these clips are actually scratch VO. And if I go into this hamburger menu down here and I go into clip color, there's an option for source colors, in which case, if I pick a label for the source clip, it will override the track color in the timeline. So when I have that set here and I have the Scratch VO track here, if I make it any color I want, I use this color right here. Now I know that all these clips are temporary VOs, Scratch VOs, they need to be replaced by the real VO, which would be green. In this case, this is like a show open that I already have the host VO on it. So when the real VO is recorded and one by one I start replacing the VO, you see here it went from the source clip color of this purple to the green, which is a visual representation for me to let me know, hey, that the real VO is in it. Or I can really look really quickly and see the timeline. Oh, maybe we don't have the real VO yet. So this is one example of why that source clip can be useful. And the way you change the color, obviously you need to have this setting set up here in your columns, I guess I would say. I, I have a preset called label color, but it's in most things. And you, when you right click this little box, you can change it to whatever color you want. And again, it's all because of this little checkbox when the hamburger menu clip color, right? If I took the source off, it would not do that. But if I click that source on, then I have that visual representation. So I don't know, you might have some certain workflows where this might be useful to you. One thing I'll say is that I'm not a huge fan of different clip colors and source colors for every source, right? So I have a sequence right here. Like in theory, I could make the music all a certain color and the sound effects a certain different color. It's almost too busy. The timeline gets a little too busy with the different colors. Personally, I like to have all my audio tracks this blue, my V1 this orange, and my V2 this dark blue. And I don't really don't care about anything else. Somebody made these sound effects, uh, labeled them red and orange, I'm not gonna go back and change it right now, but to me, this doesn't add anything. And to be honest with you, some whoever made this red, this kind of looks like it's media offline, which is a default setting in clip color here. You could change it if you want to by just opening that up and then changing the offline to whatever color you wanted to. So I don't know, kind of like a small offshoot thing to think about. And the last thing I'll leave you with is it reminds me of when it when it is in this default color mode, it kind of reminds me of my good friend, Mr. Michael Kletner, who only drinks Bud. He only drinks Budweiser, which is obviously a tremendous, tremendous Pilsner and probably one of the ma most best mass produced beers in the world, taste wise. But I don't know. With so much variety in life, I think he could he could benefit from drinking some craft beers and adding some variety and spice to his life, just like this timeline could be added for some variety with some more interesting colors. So the Avid 2018 
version course is up. The, the Avid 2021 course is coming soon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.